Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Uh, I feel like I'm just on top of the world in gratitude. Grateful for everything and everyone. Grateful for this inspiration, this high perspective that just watches the images come and go. Just content. It's quite amazing to me in this world of shifting, changing images, circumstances, sights and sounds, that the peace, the inner peace, the constancy of the peace is actually unrelated to this world of images. Some of you know there's that famous passage in the Course in Miracles that came around Christmas time, but in reference to the coming year. Jesus said, make this year different by making it all the same. The same purpose, the same attitude, the same stillness, unaffected by the world of images. Only a single purpose, only one single intent can give meaning to a world of images. So the wise idea that has been shared throughout the ages, shared recently in a movie I saw, Mary Poppins Returns, is that you need to change the way that you look at the world, but now is forever. And that's where happiness is found. Those are a couple ideas I gleaned from the, the recent viewing of Mary Poppins Returns. And it was a celebration, you know, of two children who had grown up and then their nanny, Mary Poppins, returned to their adult house, Mr. Banks and his children, his three children, and Mr. Banks' sister, who were the original children and the original Mary Poppins. And uh, it just, you could feel the love and the continuity underneath that even though people seem to come and go in our awareness and come and go from our personal lives, they are always still there in our hearts because of this love, because of this light, this continuity that connects all things, that is all meaning, that is all purpose. Some years back I visited with uh, Judy Scutch Whitson, the publisher of the course, and uh, Judy went back to her bedroom and came out and brought out a message that, that the early, you might say, the early collaborators or the early receivers of A Course in Miracles had received from this guidance. and. I would like to share with you, because it really has a, a sense of the, the trust that's needed to follow the Spirit, allow the healing, allow the blessings to radiate throughout. And it starts off with two words, the, the Course. <laughs> that's, that's what the guidance was all about. The Course has very long-range goals which could not possibly be recognized now. 
None of you has found his true function yet. This is because the central factor in the plan has not yet emerged and the parts cannot fall into place at this time. It will begin to be clear this summer, but will not be fully understood for some time. Nor is it necessary to be clearer than is needed to show you the ways you are to go to be of most help in your appointed roles. Each has been very carefully chosen and there have been no accidents nor accidental meetings. God watches over his word and over his messengers. Trust only that. It would be impossible to explain the details which depend on things that have not yet happened, people not yet met, and events that have not yet occurred. You will still be told what to do in any particular instance, any time you ask. As time goes on, some of the answers will seem quite surprising. Rejoice when that happens. It means that the next phase has begun. Everything that you are doing now will disappear and you will not remember it in the light of what will happen afterward. Little children, be not afraid. Just think of this. God is the real foundation of the Course. It needs you only in His name. Would He then not tell you what to do and help you do it? Ah, hmm. And this has been a prophecy. This has foretold the Great Awakening. Watching the pieces and the parts come together, each one playing their seeming part perfectly. It's all about integrating, integrating in consciousness, integrating in perception, becoming aware of the whole, Realizing that every decision is made for the whole. Realizing that you are never alone in anything. As Jesus says in the workbook, everything I think and say and do teaches all the universe. And thus, the experience has been this way for me. And as I look at the, the timeline of the journey, the seeming journey, the journey without distance to a goal that has never changed, I see all these friendly faces. I see that everyone has showed up at the perfect time. And it's all been for forgiveness, all to find the unity, the unifying purpose that is underneath all of these images and situations. And some of the people seem to come, they seem to go. It's like there's been a field of people and this field has been fairly consistent. These same faces crisscrossing, showing up. It's like we've all been marching hand in hand, arm in arm, walking into the light. It's been miraculous watching all the different skills and abilities channelized, focused to extend this glorious message of love and unity. 
It's been amazing. Nothing short of amazing to watch all the collaborations. To see how strong we are united together in purpose. To the ego, the world is a sad place where each one goes his separate way. Each one on a different path. Each one in a different place, at a different time, with different thoughts and different minds. To the ego, separation is reality. But joyously with the Spirit, we see that no one goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. Giving and receiving are the same. What comes around goes around. What you sow, you shall reap. What you give, you receive. Everything is fair. Everything in love, in the mind of God, is as God created it. Perfect, eternal, changeless. Nothing has gone wrong. Nothing is amiss. It's reminding me that truly, truly all things do work together for good. And that there are no exceptions. So, this day, this year, this moment, we come to accept We come to accept everything exactly as it is. We come to let all things be exactly as they are. And as I look around from this rooftop, this beautiful mystical scene, of light. I give thanks for everything. I give thanks for every interaction, for every brother and sister I have ever met or will meet. I feel the touch of heaven is right here. Everyone played their part perfectly. Everyone plays their appointed role. And that's why it's possible to just watch. Watch the dream figures come and go. Because in the light of truth there are no beginnings or endings, no starts and no stops, no before and no after. I am as God created me. And as I look around I see the witnesses to this light, this love. I see that there have been so many opportunities 
to give what I would re receive. I am always perceiving what I am believing. And when I desire to believe in a unified world, a unified perception, the end of dreaming is near. When the world is perceived without judgment, it can be appreciated. And in this full appreciation, the mind can rest. For rest is the natural condition of the mind. And I want to share the gratitude I have for for everyone. In this perspective of wholeness and completion of all-inclusiveness, there are no small parts or large parts. And nothing is difficult. Nothing is difficult that is truly desired. And what is truly desired but that which is desired wholly? There are no partial desires. There is nothing to pursue. And so the prayer of the heart has shifted from allowance to acceptance. Accepting all things exactly as they are. This is a celebration of our love and of our oneness. We rejoice in this moment which extends onward to eternity. benediction in my mind. It's kind of rolling through my mind. Voices of angels echoing. It is done. It is done. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be heaven without end Amen Amen